tutorial on how to make homemade all natural tomato sauce and, um, and also how to do a homemade all natural salad dressing. So the ingredients that we need for this recipe are uh, tomatoes, about four tomatoes or as much as you need to depending on how many people you're trying to serve. Uh, you will need garlic, I use about two cloves of garlic for one recipe and about two or three for the for the sauce, about two, and for the dressing you're gonna need about two or three. And you need garlic, one teaspoon of garlic. No, um, oregano, I'm <laughs> sorry guys, oregano. This is garlic, this is oregano. So about one teaspoon of oregano. And um, you will need salt to taste. Uh, my salt right here, I normally use kosher salt. Although this one is actually just regular diamond crystals. And I will need olive oil for both of the recipes. So now for this recipe, obviously I'm gonna pair with something. So I'm using pasta. Normally when I buy or eat pasta, I eat the one serving of vegetables pasta. So this one is one serving of, of tomatoes and carrots. Um, it comes in about two different brands that I know. So this is one of them. This is one of the pasta that I eat. Now today I came across this, which I always see in the supermarket and I decided to give it a try. And this is a Peruvian style pasta and it comes with one serving of vegetables as well and this is toma tomatoes. So you have that. Now, as you can see, I already chopped my tomatoes um, and I wanted to show you how do I do that. It's already washed. Um, basically, I just take the heart out of it because it's where all the impurities lie, you know, the pesticides and whatnot. And Normally I use white white tomatoes, which is actually the only tomato that I use for for everything that I cook in any tomato that I eat is vine white. Because um the tomatoes that you normally see that are not on the vine, they tend to be to be um ripen at the store with you know they're 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 harvest green and then the farmer use carbon to, to get them to, to the right um, consistency for the to be sold. So I don't use those. And this is already ripened, so I have my pasta that's boiling and it has salt and it's actually ready, so I have to cut this up. It's been boiling for a little while. And this is my pot. I already have oil. Now I have corn oil. I do not heat my olive oil because once you heat the olive oil, what happens is it becomes saturated and it's no longer a monosaturated healthy fat. So it basically that defeats the purpose of using olive oil. So no olive oil, just regular corn oil, no vegetable oil because vegetable oil is higher on saturated fats, so I stay away from that. Now, I'm gonna add my tomatoes, with all of this, I want a nice amount of salt. And this right here is my olives that I chopped. These are seedless olives. Well, they do come with seeds, but they're already peated. And basically this goes in there. I want to turn my fire a little bit higher. There we go. And I do not like to stir fry my garlic when I'm making pasta because I find that it gives it a soup-like taste. And I don't want my pasta to taste like soup. So basically, it's like garlic cloves that I peel. Remember the way, the way I do this is I heat it once, and basically it's very easy to peel once you do that. And so you can see it's already peeled and I cut it, you know, go through it a few times and put it inside the, the mash or add a little bit of salt and that's my, my mashed garlic. Um, if you don't have one of this, you can always finely mince your garlic and add the salt to taste. So, um, this is boring. Now I have my plantain that I'm going to use also as a side. It's um, sweet, ripened plantain. And this has been cooking for a little while. Now, if you come closer, you'll be able to see that it's not much oil on this pot. I don't really use a lot of oil. And I like them to get nice and brown because it gets sweeter that way. It's almost ready. So now where I go with my garlic, my tomato is, is cooking nicely and my olives. So I think I wanna have to match more garlic for my dressing. And basically this is when I boil. I need a lot of fire. I use a lot of fire when I cook. So let me see, this is not my stove, so <laughs> I gotta get a little bit of yes. Yeah, And so while that uh, boils, I'm gonna, I'm going to take my pasta down. 
and I need a plate to place my pie. is soft and cooked and try to do caloric control while you're in the kitchen because it happens it gets really messy pretty fast and then you know then you don't want to cook so not much um not much oregano so this is boiling nicely one thing that i do when i'm making this sauce is that I take the same masher and I just kind of like mash up the tomatoes so that it gets faster. <clears throat> okay, so here it goes. My pasta's boiling. Um, my plantain is basically ready. So I take this out nicely, nice and brown because it's sweeter that way. And voila. This one is to go on the pot for a little bit longer. And so I'm gonna get going with the salad dressing. So it's simple, very, very simple. Now I actually wanna show you the correct way to, to squeeze a lemon. So most of us have been doing this wrong for a while. So you wanna cut that part so that it takes the shape of the lemon squeezer. And you need a little container just to, so just to mix your dressing, just a little one. So here we go, so I squeeze this, you see how I press, I did it? So it's same shape, same shape, so you squeeze this. <laughs> Voila, and it's all over the stuff. Voila. So now, then you want to add a little bit of olive oil. It's about the same amount of olive oil. And then you want to add your garlic. Um, you don't have to use fresh garlic if you don't have to for the dressing. If you're making a quick dressing, you could just use garlic. Mm -hmm. You can use fresh garlic and you can also use garlic powder. And then you want to add your favorite salt to taste. And this goes, this is going to go. You can also add chopped onions to this. So now you have, I have fresh garlic, powdered garlic, olive oil. And I have um, salt, and you just pour over. I don't do much over the tomatoes because I like the flavor of the tomato the way it is. And I have my garlic. And then now I just want to take my sauce out. And I want to, I'm going to show you the sauce. And then I can plate it. And my contact is already finished. This is the sauce, the finished product. I normally cook this a little bit longer, but for the, for the sake of time, I'm doing it just like this. And I'm going all over my pasta. And I normally put the pasta inside the, the sauce and let it cook a little bit, but because we don't have too much time, I'm just gonna pour it over like that. So this is my sauce. I'm just add a little bit of 
squish, uh, not squish, a little bit of olive oil over it. And there you have it, our homemade pasta sauce. We have the plant inside and we have the fresh salad with the old natural olive oil recipe. Uh, dressing, re olive oil dressing recipe. So just take a look and I hope that you guys, you know, try this at home. It's very fast and very quick and enjoy.